Hi guys, this is Maria. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing with you pretty cool craft sets that are perfect for the age groups, I would say four and up, maybe even kindergarten and up. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. I am a mom of two, soon to be three. I have a six-year-old girl and a four-year-old boy. A lot of the crafts and activities in this video will be geared more towards my almost school-aged daughter. But I will start with more gender neutral activities that you can do with even younger children. What inspired me to film this video is the fact that my daughter, which is turned six, um, just had recently had her birthday. And as gift, I asked everybody to give me all kinds of craft projects instead of toys, because we pretty much have everything. Um, so a lot of the kits and a lot of the assets that we've gotten were absolutely amazing. And the first one I want to share with you is this crystal growing science kit from Dan and Dorsey. I'm going to try to find this one on Amazon. Again, everything is going to be linked in the description below. Now, this set came with uh, three different colors of powder, measuring cups. It came pretty much with everything you need except water, um, wafer, and it actually had a really great booklet in there that went over what are the crystals, how are they growing, so before we moved on into the activity itself of growing crystals, Carly brought in her microscope from National Geographic, which was also one of her birthday gifts. And we looked at the crystals of salt and sugar. My son, who is four, also participated and really enjoyed it. Now, when you do activities of this sort with your children, you need to make sure that they are ready to follow the directions. So if your four-year-old is like my son and is capable of doing it, I would say that it's a great age to do this project as well. If they're not really good at following the directions, you might want to hold off. It starts with pouring all of the um, crystal powder in the cups. Then you need to add boiling water. That's where you use an adult step in. After the water cools down, you can drop in the mirror that already has the starting point for all the crystals to grow inside. And then it takes about a week to get the fully grown crystals. Uh, we also followed the directions where they recommended uh, doing one at a time because that way the activity becomes more interesting and it totally did. And as a result, they also have this beautiful stand where um, you can light up your crystals and then you can see we ended up with three beautiful crystals. The whole project was extremely fun for everybody involved. So I would say this would be a great gift for boys and girls ages four on the lower end and four and a half to probably about the age seven or eight. It is summertime and it's a perfect way to spend time outdoors is to make tie-dye shirts. So the, pro the kit that I purchased, I purchased at Hobby Lobby was this like the simplest $10 kit that had four major colors in it. They came in the bottles with the powder. I did not film us doing the activity just because it did require my full involvement and concentration with it outside on the grass. But basically, if you have never done a tie-dye, it's really easy. I purchased also two t-shirts in size five to six, because that's the only ones available. They were just plain white t-shirts. And then we kind of followed the instructions. One of them I tied, the other one I didn't. So, uh, and then kids poured it. So, and then Scarlett brought in one of her uh, sweatshirts that was dirty and we tie-dyed this. So it was a really fun project. Again, ages four and up, if your child is capable of following the directions, because this can get messy, and it absolutely is an outdoor project. The next project we did was this bath bombs set from um, Shimmer and Sparkle. We did bath bombs. You can also make jelly, bath jellies, and bath jelly cups so there is several different things you can do we started with bath bombs so now i've been wanting to try this for a while i don't know if it was this specific set but our bath bombs kept on falling apart even though we followed all of the directions and it was somewhat of a giant giant mess so i didn't do it outdoors i should have in retrospect if you do this i would also set the table outdoors so if all this powder ends up on the floor, no big deal. The bath bombs, they turn out cute after everything. And the set includes pretty much everything you will need 
uh, to make your bath bombs, there is bath bomb mix, there is soda to add. Um, comes with three main colors, but you can also mix the colors. And the only thing we had to add of ours was the vegetable oil and um, measuring cups, measuring spoons, things like that. Um, again, it was fun. The kids enjoyed it. As a parent, I can tell you that I don't know if that was this specific set or in general, they are like this. Making bath bombs is not as easy as it seems. Um, and they fizzed up in like five seconds. So anyways, it was fun. I thought it is worth sharing here and we still need to make our jellies and jelly cups. Another cool thing to have on hand that I wanted to share with you. And it would be great for both boys and girls of different ages, especially if they're creative and like making things, is the model magic. It's a squishy modeling material. It's not a clay per se. Uh, my daughter had made multiple really cool crafts out of this. So she made this cake, she made some Barbie food. She also made this doll. It's really easy to um, manipulate and it air dries in somewhat of a kind of like a, I would com compare it to a foamy material. Um, but yeah, that is a great thing to have. There's several different brands that make it. So this one is from Crayola. We also had a set from Michaels from Creatology and that actually was our favorite. It was softer and kind of stayed, stayed moist for a longer period of time. So you could model it for a longer period of time. Together with that, uh, I also wanted to share a regular air dry clay. We purchased a big tub from Crayola, you know, like one of those and just wait, so Scarlett made this sculpture of a girl. We made actually multiple objects, but I didn't want to share too many things, but this is also an awesome object to have. Now, my son, who is four, had no interest in any of those. So the only way I would say it is good for like your, Go for a creative kind of kid. Hey, right, now I'm moving on into a completely girly segment of this video. Uh, and I want to share with you one of the best, absolutely best gifts. I mentioned it in my Scarlet's Day in the Life uh, birthday vlog. It's this Fairy Lanterns. I actually did not know they existed up until we got several sets for her birthday. And I can tell you this were amazing. So this was came from a set of two. We also had one. And there it comes with lights. Some of them have the lights blinking and changing. The idea behind all of them is pretty much the same. It's a jar. You have glue. So you put the glue inside, then you sprinkle glitter. You can add shapes. Some of them came with the cutout shapes that you put inside. Then you put the lights, the batteries go in here, and then you have all kinds of ways to decorate the handle. The best gift for a little girl like ever. Now, younger girls might need some assistance in doing it. Six-year-olds can completely do it on their own. Uh, maybe like with a little assistance, like spreading the glue so it's all even inside there. But this was absolutely amazing and I just can't recommend it enough. The next set for little girls that would be really fun to have is also this on the go, kid made modern, create your own fashion dolls. We also had that for Scarlett's birthday as a crafts for guests. And they're really, really fun. So I'll show you a few that we've made because we have one extra set. And I like uh, craft sets from kid made modern, especially for on the go, just because they are fun. So like here's some of the ones that we have made. Well, Scarlett made, this is her dolls. So you basically just dress them up in all kinds of ways and decorate it. It's a cute, it would be actually a great project if you are planning to go like on a trip during summer and you want to take something with you. This would be a good one to go because I mean, it is. it does say on the go, so it comes with multiple colors and all kinds of ways to decorate those fashion dolls. I would say it is a must. I have a few more sets to go over guys and I am saving one of the best for last. So let's start with this one. This is, it's already open, but this is a craft kit for class junior and it is for sewing food. We actually have had it before. And when Scarlett was, I think about three or four. So this is actually a great one for younger children as well to practice their sewing. 
And then you can get as creative as you want. Scarlett made like a clown cupcake out of this one. I'm not even sure what that is. But anyways, it's great for practice of lots of fine motor skills because there is sewing, it comes with craft needles, it comes with everything that you need. You don't need to need, uh, add any extras for this. And then you end up with all kinds of pizza pieces. And then we actually capped all of ours and now it's food for her dolls or like when we have like a, a tea party for all of their stuff to waste, they all are eating this kind of cupcakes and stuff. So it is, again, and it comes with everything you need to stuff, has directions, really easy to do. And again, here it says age is four plus. I would agree four plus is a perfect age for this set. All right, my last one is this set right here behind me. It is No Sue Fairy Fashions from uh, Faber Pastel. I have shared this one in Scarlett's, what I got her for her sixth birthday video. But back then, you know, I didn't open it, so I did not know what's inside. And inside is everything that you need. It has a mannequin inside that um, I can open it for you and show you. It also comes with instructions of step-by-step -step on how to create your tutus. Comes with a mannequin and then a variety of wings, ribbons, flowers you might want to put on. Like, for example, for this one, um, I think it was my mom and Scarlett, they threaded some flowers on the top and then for this one this part was sticky so we kind of put some glitter on it fits all the typical like barbie doll size dolls so you can make your barbie dolls into fairies um six year old the age range for this one says e plus and it is for older kids like i would not spend money and buy it for like a four-year-old girl it is so six year old can do this with assistance, like of steps and guidelines. Uh, and then like, I think probably eight year old girls can do it on their own, but it's a great gift. And uh, we had some great times, you know, like if your girl is into fairies, this is just a must have. This actually had five star reviews on Amazon and I, I'm about to give it five stars as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and gave you some good ideas on what kind of craft sets you might want to look for whether it is gifts or for summer break to entertain your children if you aren't traveling or if you're on the road. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a like, subscribe to my channel for the content of this kind, and I will see you later.